If you've been following open source large language models long enough, you'll probably notice that there's some quirks with how they're released. Obviously, Mistral was the first to just haphazardly release models as torrents online without even a title. But the other thing that keeps happening seemingly is there's a certain website that happens to be with the number four and have the name Chan in it that seems to always release things about a day early before they're rumored to come out. And with Llama 3 405B right on the horizon, supposedly coming tomorrow, we unsurprisingly got a really juicy surprise at about 3 a.m. last night. And yes, I just realized this. But the thing is, is no one knows if it's actually Llama 3.1 405B instruct. So this has happened before a few times, but I want to uncover if this is the actual model. We actually got updated Llama 3 405B benchmarks that are from the actual model and we even got some more updates from the exo team who clearly just can't wait to run this new massive model on their distributed hardware faster than any of us will be able to run Lama 3405B at full precision because all of us are two GPU poor to run this entire model. So welcome to AI Flux. Let's get into it. You know, with models coming out on 4chan, it, it, these days is just not that surprising. And ironically, they also rolled with the initial name Miku, which the joke there is that the original Miku was a model that was just meant to write anime fan fiction. And the original Miku kind of joke on 4chan had to do with what we thought was Mistral Medium initially on this site. Initially, it didn't actually end up to be Mistral Medium. It was just kind of an interesting amalgamation that had been merged to end up being the size that we thought it was. And we don't really think that this is actually Llama 3, 4, 5 Bs. So even if we could run the entire thing and not to crush your dreams, we're probably just going to have to wait about 18 more hours to actually get the legitimate version of Llama 3, 4, 5 B. So how did this actually happen? So last night at 3 a.m., someone was awake and saw this show up on 4chan, which ironically is still one of the better places to learn um, very quickly and in a very astute way about open source large language models. How that happened, I can't really explain. However, the irony is this model was downloaded, someone messed around with it, realized it wasn't just a, a complete trap, and actually uploaded it onto Hugging Face. And it was up there for a while, and this has just been continually re-uploaded to Hugging Face a number of times. So if you go and search for this, you'll probably find some version of it, but I would just wait until tomorrow because we don't really know what this is. So it showed up on Hugging Face as Meta Llama 3405B Instruct Up Merge FP8. So it's not full precision, it's FP8. Full precision would have been uh, FP16. And it's kind of interesting. So this was torn apart by a few people, specifically Kello Mays on Twitter. He's covered a few of these initial leaks before. And what's interesting is I agree with him after looking at this a bit and digging into the model myself that this is likely a fake merge made earlier just for stress testing and furrent setups and not the actual model. Ironically, Cognitive Computations and Eric Hartford and his team actually made something really similar to this that actually the team at EXO also used just to stress test machines to see what could actually run a model this big. So this isn't actually Llama 3 405B. It's just an amalgamation of a bunch of models meant to be that big so we can see if infrastructure could actually run this new massive open source model. So the next big update is the fact that we have actual benchmark numbers for the legitimate version of Llama 3.1 405B that will be released tomorrow. And this is for the full version. I'm not sure if they actually included the precision involved with this, but what's great is this lets us look at how current release of Llama 3.4.5B stacks up against other closed source models and begs the question of, you know, like, are we entering a time when this is probably going to be the most powerful open source model ever released? And if it's within arm's length of other closed source models, what does that mean for the entire industry? I mean, usually the industry shifts are made by closed source models. They make entire swaths of startups useless, uh, worthless to their investors, and that's just kind of how progress in this space has gone. But the question is, what if the pendulum swings the other way? What if open source AI all of a sudden becomes a much better option and with quants and tools and a bunch of tooling around it that eventually more people can use actually starts to eat into people that are paying for this day to day? Obviously, there, there will always be non-technical people who will just pay for an interface and just not care and be like, why would I spend thousands of dollars on the chips I have to plug in and GPUs and all this stuff? But that's not the area of the market that's going to be impacted by this the most. And if we get this model like Meta has been promising, I think the implications will be really interesting. So I do mean it when I say that this model, at least for what the public can use, whether or not it's closed source or open source, might be the world's new best model. So the new benchmark for state of the art that will be in the hands of everyone to tune, as Aiden McLeod here is saying. 
And the irony is we might actually get a version of this once it's fine tuned down. That's actually cheaper than GPT-4 Omni and GPT-4 Omni Mini. And GPT-4 Omni Mini is basically the cheapest model in existence right now. So it's an interesting benchmark to beat. So these are the benchmarks we have right now. They are basically, to my knowledge, these have been confirmed. These numbers are kind of wild. So we have basically, I think like nine or 10 benchmarks here. The big ones are GSM 8K, Hella Swag, Human Eval, and a number of sort of specific versions of MMLU. So what's crazy here is assuming that the numbers for Meta Llama 3.1405B are accurate, Meta, basically the, this, the biggest full precision version of this model from Meta is better than GPT-4 Omni in basically every single Meta Llama model that has come before it which is pretty cool. Now I will say it's an interesting choice only picking GPT-4 Omni because we know even though GPT-4 Omni is mostly a interactive model, and by that I mean it's a model that's meant to be more responsive, not necessarily the most capable, but comparing this to Cloud 3.5, especially when they come out with the latest and most powerful version of Cloud 3.5, It'll be really interesting to see. And especially once this is open, it'll be very interesting to see how people can cram it into ever smaller GPUs. And my prediction is that it's going to be harder than ever. There were a number of weeks when people just did not really know how to even like one to 2% more performance out of Llama 3. And of course, now it's been around long enough, we understand how to do that. But I think with a model of this size, just given the expense of running it and the expense of kind of starting with it and it's, massive full precision size might mean we have kind of a delay before we start to see real performance being eked out of it and people who don't have you know a couple thousand dollars to spend in the cloud to use it for and i hope that tools like exo get even better and that people with a few gpus can manage to run this at like a usable speed but i think the big question is how quickly we'll see more interesting quants that are actually derived from the primary model and when someone with like four 4090s will be able to run this at even close to a usable speed. And for those of you who are curious, Chubby, or he goes by uh, Kimonsumus on Twitter, also has this link. I'm not going to post the link before, but you can download Miko2 right now if you want to. And I was able to get my hands on a few Apple devices that I'm going to hope to run Llama 3 4 or 5B on. But what's cool is EXO is still iterating as we speak. So what's awesome is now they actually have metrics for their entire systems. Definitely follow their Twitter. I have a dedicated video coming out later today on EXO, and I'm hoping to speak with some of their team because I've already started making some contributions and improvements to their Linux client, uh, although their iOS and Mac clients are kind of the most supported right now. So basically, if you have more than two MacBooks that are M2 MacBooks with a lot of RAM, um, definitely check out EXO. They're an awesome, awesome uh, group of guys working on this right now. So I'm curious, do you think that the model we saw on 4chan is real? Do you think it's just kind of a meme at this point and we'll see this uh, before every major release? Do you think Meta is actually gonna release this model tomorrow without some wild license? What are your thoughts on Llama 3, 4, or 5B in general? The benchmark numbers are very promising. I was kind of wishing they'd be a little bit better, but the fact that this is an open source model on day one without further tuning just obliterating um, GPT-4 Omni is kind of wild. So let me know what you think. Um, as always, I hope you learned something. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm really glad to be back after a, kind of a few weeks working on some other stuff. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.